Hi guys and welcome to Tech Team GB. This video is all about the Steel Series Arctis 3 Bluetooth. These are kind of an interesting, what are effectively a combination of the Steel Series Arctis 3s and effectively the Steel Series Arctis 7s, as these have Bluetooth uh, support built into them and a battery as well, so they can be completely wireless operation if you like, or you can use the what is effectively proprietary connection uh, to any of the other devices you might want to use. So one of the cool things about this headset is that you actually actually have dual audio support so you can connect your phone say to the Bluetooth connection and then you can connect the more wired connection to say your they list Nintendo switch but basically any device and then you can have your Bluetooth audio streaming to the headset at the same time as the analog input audio which is actually really pretty awesome it means that you can play music on your phone while you're you know using this uh, headset as your standard PC gaming headset and not have to worry about alt tabbing to switch your music or anything like that you can just control all of that from your phone taking a look around the headset itself you obviously have the sort of uh, ski goggle headband up the top this is a pretty nice design it actually means that there's no sort of adjustability in height wise to the ear cups although the ear cups do swivel and rotate so they actually fit basically any head pretty well on the bottom of the left ear cup or right as you're seeing it on screen you have the microphone mute switch the volume rocker the proprietary connection that only their cables work with and a 3.5 mil jack if you want to directly plug this into an analog audio device you have the micro usb port which is used for charging the built-in battery and the retractable microphone which actually comes out quite a long way and gives uh, a lot of adjustability in where you want to sit it and on the right hand side ear cup or again left as you're seeing it on screen you have the bluetooth button which is also the power button for the bluetooth side so you have to hold it down to be able to turn the headset on in terms of its bluetooth mode and then you can also hold it longer to uh, enable it in pairing mode so you can connect new devices. Inside the box you get four cables. One of them is the proprietary cable that connects basically all of the other cables to their final output device. You also have the proprietary female side to four pole jack and the proprietary female side to dual three pole jacks, microphone headphone jacks, and then you have the micro USB cable. The micro USB cable is purely for charging. It's not a you know direct connection to your PC for audio for example you're just gonna have to use the standard uh, 3.5 mil jacks for those but otherwise it is a pretty nice setup and especially with the length of the cables they're actually pretty well sized for the different options that you'd have for four pole or for the more uh, kind of extended dual three pole adapters when it comes to comfort the headset is really pretty impressive it does a very nice job at being very comfortable on my head the actual foam on the ear cups themselves are actually very nice very plush there's actually very little actual sort of head pressure or clamping force which is very nice as well and overall just as I said a very comfortable experience that I'd be happy wearing for extended periods of time while gaming or just generally listen to music and especially because you can take these out and about and use them in their Bluetooth capacity uh, they're actually a pretty nice style as well that I think a lot of people wouldn't mind doing that and just on that note these are obviously closed back headphones as well so you have a little bit more chance of actually being a nice passenger on the, the train or the bus or whatever you're traveling on uh, and you know not having everyone on the bus hear your music so what about audio quality well they actually do a pretty decent job they're not the best in the world there are certainly better uh, headsets for that the, the pristine audio quality if you are more of an audiophile but if you're someone who wants a decent quality headset that's comfortable and has decent quality audio then this is certainly an interesting option the added feature of Bluetooth here especially with the dual audio inputs is pretty interesting and they, they marked it purely for the Nintendo Nintendo Switch in all of the documentation, but this would work very well for any gaming, uh, you know, any gaming setup, whether it's on console or whether it's on uh, PC. I think you'd have a pretty decent experience with this. So I'm not entirely sure whether they're focusing solely on the Switch. So here is a quick test of the built-in microphone for the Steel Series Arctis 3 headset. This is connected via Bluetooth to my phone, so that I can then superimpose this audio over what you're currently seeing, so that you hear this as opposed to this. So. Hopefully this is, uh, gives you a decent idea. From my previous testing, it seems like a pretty decent quality microphone. Now the thing that confuses me most about this headset is its price. The Arctis 3 Bluetooth is priced at the basically same price point as the Arctis 7s. The Arctis 7s obviously do require that USB transmitter and obviously are more focused towards PC gaming and that sort of stuff, whereas this is more sort of multi-function. But the fact that this is the Arctis 3 but is more expensive than the 5 and similar price to the 7s is a very kind of weird price point 
point and I'm not entirely sure uh, sort of where this kind of sits on their product stack because you would assume the Arctis 3 sits below the 5 but in terms of pricing this one doesn't. So what are my thoughts on this? Well it's a pretty decent headset, it's very comfortable and I'd be happy wearing it for extended hours while gaming and it's pretty decent for audio quality and mic quality and also you do have the interesting functionality of Bluetooth added on there so technically you can, you can use these as your outdoors pair and your indoors pair so still pretty cool but they have a ridiculously high price tag to go with them as I said very similar to the Arctis 7 so it's kind of a, an interesting market where if you're interested in especially a dual audio headset and having Bluetooth on your gaming headphones then this could be very interesting for you but if you just want a decent set of headphones that are going to be nice and comfortable still have decent audio quality then probably go with the standard Arctis 3s as opposed to the Bluetooth version. Moving on to the scoring for me this is going to be a 3.5 Vive Money. When it comes to performance though I'm going to go with a 4.5 and in terms of functionality I'm also going to go with a 4.5 as well. When it comes to uh, the style I really do like this so I'm going to go with a 4.5 and in terms of Tech GMB score it's going to be a 4.5 and a gold award. It's impressive but as I said that really high price tag really kind of drives some of the scores down and especially their proprietary connections it'd be nice to see some uh, kind of more open source connections included in the box just so that you can use this headset a little bit easier. So that's my thoughts I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below is this a headset that you'd be interested in picking up or would you rather go with these standard Arctis series and save yourself a decent chunk of change? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you want to check out the headset or check out the price when and where you watch this, take a look at the link in the description down below. There's obviously going to be a few other links down there, so if you want to support these videos that come out on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis, then feel free to take a look at the Patreon link if you want to support me directly, or you can use Amazon and Overclockers UK affiliate links if you want to support me in the slightly less direct way. There will be some other videos over here for you to check out. Of course, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button too for future videos. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.